Hello. It's Skylar of White Shark Video and Shark Minutes. And since you like sharks, I thought I'd share a little something with you. I happen to have a few extra shark teeth laying here with me, and let's talk about those. First of all, let's test your shark knowledge. It's pretty tough, but if you can, I'll be impressed. Let's give you a minute to see if you can guess the species of shark that you see here. All right, let's take a break. Hint, all the sharks we're talking about today appear on this design. By the way, you see my hat? Those are all shark teeth. If you can name all of those species, I'll be super impressed. Okay, back to the teeth in my hand. How did you do? I've got a tiger shark, a sand tiger, also known as a gray nurse shark or raggy tooth shark, three names, yes, and a Caribbean reef shark. They're all sharks, so why do they look so different? Now turn to your dad or turn to your mom and take a crack at that question and see what you come up with. All right, I'll check back with you. The answer is that they have different jobs. They were created to do different things. Believe it or not, despite what the media tells us, sharks don't go around killing anything and everything, especially not people. These teeth give you an idea about what they like to eat. More than what they like to eat, what they were designed to be able to eat in order to carry out the specific job that they were made to do. As you can see, the tiger shark tooth is really unique, and that's because it's capable of doing a lot. It can eat and digest just about anything, and that particular design, kind of like a can opener with a serrated edge and the top point going outward, it can bite through a turtle shell in order to get through to the flesh of the turtle underneath. I know that's kind of a scary idea but it does give you an idea of just how specialized that shark is in terms of what it's capable of eating. Other sharks, even a great white shark, might not be able to do that. Now the sand tiger shark, also known as the gray nurse shark or the raggy tooth shark, I don't know why they got all those names, but in any case, that tooth is long and pointy and does not have a serrated edge. Why do you think that is? Go ahead and pause if you want to take a guess. That tooth, although it's a little bit scary looking because it's so long and pointy, is not something that we need to be afraid of because that long, pokey design, kind of like a fork, well, that's exactly what it does. It stabs into something it's biting like a fork, but then it swallows it whole. It doesn't tear it apart or chew it. It just grabs a chunk and then it swallows it, which means that it would have to be a huge shark in order to swallow us whole. The last tooth, I might be tempted to say, is a typical looking shark tooth, and it belongs to a typical looking shark, Caribbean reef shark, and it eats smaller fish. Now, bonus tooth, this is a great white shark. That tooth is very different, and you see it's a perfect triangle with serrated edges, and it's so different than all the other species of sharks because it's the only one that actually eats mammals, marine mammals. It actually can hunt and eat seals and sea lions and elephant seals and things like that. Pretty amazing, huh? I also have a wolf bear land shark from Northern California here on my left. What can you learn about a shark from a puppy? Seriously, the sharks. When their teeth come together, come together a lot like that, and then they use their powerful heads to rip off a piece they can swallow whole, which apparently my puppy does also. There it is, right on cue. I'm just fooling around, but there is a point. The point being that just because something has teeth, like dogs do, doesn't mean they want to eat you. Now we've seen today that sharks have different teeth that allow them to eat different things. But the question I will leave you with is why? Why would there be so many different types of sharks to eat so many different types of things? All right, until next time.